Hello, farmers, and welcome to another fantastic episode of your favorite podcast, The Harvest Season. My name is Rochelle. And my name is Al. And we're here to talk about farming games. Woo! Woo. Are you ready to talk about farming? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm emotionally ready to talk about farming games, but here we are. Rochelle, I am always ready to talk about farming games, especially at this time on a Tuesday. Tuesday, your favorite day of the week. Well, I mean, it really is because it's also burrito day. It is. Yeah, burrito Tuesday. I mean, it's Tasty Tuesday. And burritos are tasty. Well, good. You're ce- you're properly celebrating Tasty Tuesday. Yeah, Burrito Tuesday. I used to get donuts every Tuesday morning. True story. I no longer do because I prefer to not be awake in the mornings <laughs> considering I work nights. But But what even is morning? I'm morning even real. No, I'm just like making fun of you, making fun of me. <laughs> Ugh, this is this is too many levels deep. Oh man. It's a good question, okay? Once a philosophy major, always a philosophy major. Yes. We know. So <laughs> today we're gonna go through our whole usual routine. First we're gonna talk about what we're playing, then we're gonna hit you with some news, your favorite section. Uh, and then we're going to talk about a fun little game called Forager today. Woo. See, I can say it at the beginning of the episode. Yeah. I'm never going to let myself down for that one time. I just straight up <laughs> didn't say it. So. <laughs> it's all good. They saw it in the title anyway. No, they didn't because we don't put it in the title. <laughs> no, they didn't they didn't even see it they didn't know what they were getting into and then like three hours later i was talking about how like i get vertigo in buildings and you were asking if i get vertigo on mountains and they were like what am i doing here like look the poor listeners people know what they're getting in for when they listen to a podcast by us (laughs) i i'm sorry not sorry (laughs) listeners so Al. Yes. In the very long time <laughs> since the last time we recorded, what have you been playing? Uh, I, I mean, I've been basically just playing more Littlewood. Uh, that's it. Yeah. What have you been playing? Well, so I played some Forager. True story. Oh, did you know? I did. Interesting. And I even... I did not play anything else. (laughs) (laughs) I can't believe that after our conversation, you just went and bought Forager on the PC. Look, I'm not going to lie. I didn't plan to. And then I was like, I'm going to feel really bad if I talk about this on the podcast. And I've literally never even played it. So. You're the one that chose the topic for today. Yeah. Look, I. (laughs) Look, I. Everything I've ever done has led up to this moment. <laughs> um, my B. That's all I got. My B. Cool. So I'm also just excited to play it. And it's not terribly expensive. That's very true. So. That's very true. So Littlewood and Forager is all we've been playing. It's been a very long time since we last recorded. So that's probably disappointing. It has been a very long five days. <laughs> The next, the next recording is going to be fun because we won't have talked for four weeks or something oh like that. Oh my gosh, will we even remember we exist? Will <laughs> we even remember we're doing a podcast? Stay tuned. Cliffhanger. What is a podcast? Well, I hope so because we will have had to release the episodes. <laughs> so if, you know, you're hearing this in three months time or something, we're sorry. <laughs> we forgot. Sorry actual sorry summer is difficult for routines that is all i mean for you yes farming games Woo! Woo. you want to talk about some news 
Yeah, with our massive news section in the last five days. We've had so much news. Are y'all ready for this? I'm just happy we have some news. I mean, honestly, that's kind of impressive. Yeah, yeah. If we hadn't recorded late last time, we'd have more news. Well, sorry. (laughs) Sorry, actually sorry for that one, so... It's all good. It's all good. So, Rochelle, do you remember Stranded Sales? Oh, you bet I do. I remember everything we've ever talked about on this podcast. That's going to bite me in the butt one day. Well, Uh, it has a release date. Woo! So that's exciting. It is coming out in... October! It's coming out in October, yes. Um, The best of the months. So I guess it doesn't have a release date so much as a release month. It's more than nothing. It is. So for those who can't remember and don't have such as good memory as Rochelle, Stranded (laughs) Sails is an open world farming game, or it likes to call itself an open world farming adventure. You're based on a mysterious archipelago. And you need to secure your survival and solve the mysteries deep in the heart of the islands. It is on coming to Switch, PS4, Xbox One and PC. And it has a really nice looking aesthetic, I think. And mm-hmm. you get you get to go on a ship, as is suggested by the name. Boats! I love boats. I do not like boats in real life. Uh, straight at sails! So, it looks fun and it's coming out in October and... Uh, I'll probably buy it at some point. Who knows when? I mean, same. Probably not straight away. We'll let you know. We'll keep you updated. We will. Um, That's the news. Yay. Everyone's really disappointed right now. They're like, I really wanted like an hour and a half of news. (laughs) Uh, What are we like 10 minutes into the episode? (laughs) Maybe. We're probably about 10 minutes into the episode and listeners, we have been recording for over an hour now and there has been so many technical difficulties in so many ways. I mean, to be fair, I 100% called the power outage thing. Like, you've heard me this whole time freaking out about this storm. (laughs) True, true. Foreboding. And that's just one of the many issues. So, shall we talk about Forager? Yeah, let's talk about Forager. Oh, I need to I need to do this one because I've played it more than you, I presume. I mean, like you may well have played it more than me. Um, <laughs> I never know what you do the weekend. I clocked about, I want to say maybe like six or seven hours. Okay, a well, half decent amount. So... Well, there are, I guess, a number of of different metrics we can use to figure these things out. But before we do that, we should probably mention a few key things about how the game works. So Forager starts off a very simple game. You start off on this plot of land, which I think is a 8 by 8 square, something like that. And there are some rocks on it. There are some trees on it. And you've got one tool, which is a pickaxe to cut down the trees and mine the rocks. And you use what you get from the rocks and the trees to make things. You can start off by making the... You start by making a forge. I can tell you this because... Cool. You start off by making the forge, which is there for... I think that that makes like your ores and stuff like that, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And then you build up more more and more stuff, which we'll go into a bit more detail later. Um, But then the key thing about Forager is you're using these things to make money to then buy other pieces of land. So you start off with just a small piece of land and you expand out into more and more land. So there are, I think, 64 different pieces of land um, (gasps) as of recording. 64? I think there are 64. No, 48. There are 48, not 64. 48? I have like eight. I was going to ask. So you have eight. Eight I don't actually know if I have actually eight, but that's... Uh, what? That is significantly more than I was expecting. Yes. there. I mean, one of the things that people have as a negative about this game is the lack of content. But yeah, there there are 48 pieces of land. <laughs> lack of content? <laughs> I spent like an hour doing a dungeon. Yeah. Anyway, please continue. We'll get to them. We'll get to them. 
So um, there are 48 pieces of land. Uh, I have unlocked them all by this point because I became a little bit obsessed with it. Just a little bit. <laughs> the different lands are in a number of different biomes. Um, and obviously, depending on what biome you're in, they will contain different things, different um, spawns, res- different resources, different enemies, different NPCs. And there are some other things as well, which we'll talk about later. Um, there are five biomes. There's the grass biome, which is where you start in. There is the desert biome, the winter biome, the graveyard biome, and the fire biome. And they're kind of arranged around the grass biomes in the middle, and the other ones are kind of around it uh, in a, a square shape. There's a fire biome? There is a fire biome. Oh my gosh. This Is is this what you feel like any time I talk about any game? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> so uh, that's that's the land, um, and obviously the, you know there are different things. So in the grass biome, for example, you get um, your uh, wood, citrus, stone, coal, iron, and gold ore. Those I think are available in all of the biomes, um, mm-hmm. or most of the biomes anyway. Um, wood you can obviously use for building things. Stone again for building things. Coal you use as fuel for I think all of the things that you build things with. So there's the forge, um, which is used for making things like coins, uh, which is your your main currency in the game. Keys, which you use for unlocking things. Arrows. Um, you can also get upgrades for your pickaxe and the other tools that you end up getting later on in the game. Um, there's also the furnace, which is for making bars um, of your ores, and uh, you can also later on in the game cook using the furnace. There is also a sewing station, which you can use to create things like clothes and a wallet as well, which will increase the value of your coins. Mm-hmm. The mining rod, uh, which doesn't use any fuel, um, the mining rod will automatically mine things for you. So if you put it on a piece of land, there's a circle around it, and every so often it will zap something, lower its health, and eventually mine it for you, uh, which is very useful. You can also then upgrade that, and, and essentially that is kind of the first kind of automation thing within the game, which... Is kind of the point of Forager. You know, the, the way that Forager is built around is building all these different things that will all uh, create a, a big system to mine things in quickly. And it kind of is designed to go almost exponentially. You start out really small and mining just rocks and trees and stuff. And then eventually you have all these 48 lands with mining rods covering all of it. Uh, you can also have like the furnace and stuff with hundreds of things in it, Chur- just churning things out and creating money and all that sort of stuff. What the heck? I have not gotten to any of that. <laughs> the mining rod, I think, is the first thing, basically, where you get to um, that sort of automation stuff. I just really, really upgraded my pickaxe, and I got the one that lights stuff on fire. And, like, yes, I thought that was That's great. the greatest exponential improvement. <laughs> there are more fun ones like that coming up. Oh, my gosh. There's also the ballista, which... Uh, Similar to the mining rod, but instead of mining things, it attacks enemies. Mm -hmm. There is the flower press, which is an interesting one. And you basically use it to create the kind of base building blocks of the game. So you can use it to create iron ore and gold ore and coal. Um, The only problem with it, I find, is quite useful. But the only problem is basically everything requires you to use flowers in them. And after a while, you very quickly run out of flower. I'm sure. And the anno- 